Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and welcome to the Game Exposed podcast. If you guys have a brief question on a narcissist and you want to submit it and have your question answered on the podcast, submit a brief question, you guys, no more than a paragraph because it won't be read. Um, text your questions to 917 636 1109 and text me your questions, and I'll try to get to as many questions as I can and answer them on the podcast, but please make it brief, no more than a paragraph, okay? 917-636-1109. Hi, you guys. It's Yaz, and today I'm going to talk about why narcissists block you and unblock you. I get so many people asking me, why did the narcissist block me and then unblock me? Well, I'm going to give you the real explanation of why they do that, okay? A lot of people, a lot of influencers will say, well, they do that as a means of control. You know, they're trying to control you. And that's part of it, okay? That's part of it. But 99% of the time why a narcissist blocks you and then unblocks you is because they're seeing other supply, okay? They're seeing other supply, so they need you out of the way. So what better way to get you out of the way than to pick a fight with you over nothing, all right? A lot of times you have an argument with them or they pick on something, like I had one client where he got mad at her for going out and buying a car without conferring with him first. They weren't married or anything, but he just was looking for a hair and an egg. And he looked at it as a reason to go and block her. But the real, I told her that wasn't the reason why he blocked you, okay? The reason he blocked her was because he had other supply he was busy with and he needed her out of the way. Narcissists are going to block you So that when they're with other supply, their phone isn't ringing and you're calling, okay? Or they don't want to get caught with the other supply with you reaching out to them. Now, I'm going to give another reason why the narcissist may block you. Another reason why the narcissist blocks you is the the common one that everybody talks about is control, all right? They may block you when they're mad at you. This is a form of punishment. They're going to block you so that you, you know, you're sitting there, you're, you're steaming, you're ready to explode. And guess what? You can't even, you, you can't even get all those feelings out because the narcissist beat you to the punch and blocked you. All right. Now I'm going to get into why a narcissist blocks and then unblocks you. All right, what happens is a narcissist will block you. Most of the time they block you is because they're dealing with other supply and they don't care. They just block you. They want you out of the way because right now they're all enthralled with this new supply, all right? They're busy with the new supply (coughs) and then, you know, they're seeing how it goes with the new supply. Now, let's say the new supply, things aren't going so well or the new supply, you know, gives them resistance or they feel like, you know, this isn't what they thought it was. Now the narcissist is going to unblock you, all right? And a lot of times they unblock you and they say nothing. And people say, well, why do they do that? Because a narcissist knows how much you like them. They know how thirsty you are. And people ask me, well, how do they know that I'm so into them? By the amount of attention you show that narcissist, by how much you get on that phone with that narcissist, or how much detail you're talking in, shows the narcissist you really care. In other words, if you were this type of person that was indifferent and you were just kind of like, yeah, no, uh, it's okay. Um, I don't care when I see you, you know, like you were indifferent to the narcissist. You could take or leave them because maybe you have other things going on in your life. Then the narcissist knows that you're not that thirsty for them. So narcissists, they want you thirsty for them. And if they feel that, you know, you're really into them and everything, what they do is they unblock you and they test you. This is a way also for them to test you. They want to see if you say something. So let's say it's on Facebook Messenger, for instance, all right? They block you, then they unblock you. Now they see that, you know, you haven't blocked them back. This is why when they unblock you, 
you have to block them, okay? Like with this, when it's Facebook, you have to wait, you know, to, uh, to block them, I think, you know, when, once they unblock you and then just block them. So um, what's happening is that, you know, they're testing you to see if you say something like, oh, I'm unblocked now or something like that. Or why did you unblock me? Now they know you've been watching. Now they know you've been watching. They want to see what you do. So you guys, what do you do? You do nothing. You do nothing. What you do is just block them across the board. Once somebody blocks you, that is mad disrespect. And that is somebody that now you don't have to deal with. Now you know they're playing games with you, okay? So once they block you, it's got to be done with. It's got to be done with because it's going to keep happening. And narcissists, they love to play games. They're not serious-minded people in the sense that you're serious-minded. The intent of the narcissist is very different from your intent. So this is what people don't realize. You think you're dealing with somebody who's like you that's, you know, your intent in getting in this relationship to get to know somebody was serious minded. Well, guess what? That wasn't the intent of the narcissist when they got involved with you. And go listen to my um, one of my earlier podcasts on the intent of the narcissist where I get into this and I explain, you know, when you got involved with the narcissist, the narcissist intent was not to be in this long-term relationship with you and live happily ever after and live this monogamous life. Most narcissists, they don't believe in monogamy, all right? And why is that? Because they don't trust. They feel everybody's shady, dirty. It's a doggy dog world out there. So they don't, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, I'm losing my voice this morning. It's very early. They don't trust, all right? So the thing is this, when a narcissist, you know, the reason they block you is usually because they're, it, it's now a reason for them to have you out of the way and be busy with this other supply. When a narcissist blocks you, you could trust and believe that there is somebody else around. They have another supply, okay? Now, a lot of influencers won't tell you this. Why? Because they never lived it, all right? That's the difference between somebody who's textbook narcissism and somebody who's lived narcissism. And I've lived it, and that's why I could talk about this. And when I hear a lot of these people, they sit there and they say, oh, well, you know, it's a form of control, and they're trying to control you. Yes, it is a form of control. I'm not refuting that. It's definitely a form of control. But the number one reason why they're blocking you is because there's somebody else around, Okay, so what they're doing is they're juggling, they're juggling supply and they need they don't want their phone ringing when they're with that other supply. Okay, because if their phone, let's say they're with the other supply and you're calling up and everything that's going to look suspect in the other supplies eyes that the narcissist is doing something shady. So what better way to get you out of the out of the way? Just block you, have a fight with you, you know, over something stupid. Oh, you left a spoon in the sink block. OK, and you're sitting there like like what the fuck just happened? And th it wasn't over the spoon in the sink. It's because the narcissist is about to go to the other supplies house and they don't want you calling and being on the phone with them. So, you know, th that's a way for them to do it and mask it. And, you know, they don't have to sit there and turn their phone off silent or something when they're with the other supply because they just blocked you, all right? It's, it's so much easier. And then they don't have to worry about you being suspicious be, for, for, you know, for them not picking up their phone because you, you're blocked, so you really don't know what the fuck is going on, all right? So they do this all the time. When a narcissist is juggling a lot of supply, that they may be with one supply and now they want to bounce off to another supply. So they'll fight with you. Go see the other supply. Now they're with the other supply. Now maybe they'll block the other supply so they can go see somebody else. All right. So now they block and unblock. So now they, you know, they don't have to worry about their phone popping off and the other supply is around and sitting next to them in the bed and the BB, the phone's going off. They don't have to worry about that because you're blocked. And now they're going to unblock you. Because now they want to come back to you. Now they're coming back for the supply that you had to, to offer them. 
And that usually is, you know, for sex. Most of the time when you're dealing with somebody who blocks and unblocks you, you're dealing with a narcissist who's after sex, all right? Because narcissists that are after money, they, you know, they don't want to take a chance of losing that money. So they're a little bit more trickier. They're more clever. They're more manipulative. So, you know, they'll they'll come up with other excuses. They might be afraid to block you because, you know, they don't want to turn you off if they're after your money too much, all right? So this this happens a lot with narcissists that are out there playing the field, you know, a lot of sex supply and things like that. So they unblocked you because they you know, now they're waiting for you to now contact them and say something to them. And if you say something to them or you fight with them, now they know they got you. You're thirsty for them. They have the control. So they do test to see if they have the control by if you say something after they unblock you. That's why you don't say one fucking word to the narcissist. Why? Because you have your power, you have your self-worth. Once somebody slights you, disrespects you, blocks you, and cannot communicate with you, it's a wrap. Block, get out of my life. Now you don't deal with somebody like that because that's the beginning of all the tricks and mind games they are going to play on you. Don't give them the opportunity. You have to show that narcissist that you respect yourself. And I actually, I dealt with somebody like this, all right? You know, he, he, he wanted to play mind games with me. And he was a very smart guy. He was like an officer in the military and everything. Very, very smart dude, all right? And he thought he was going to mind fuck me. So he, he did the same thing, all right? Like he, um, he blocked me, then he unblocked me. And he was waiting, but I, I knew the game. He was waiting for me to say something. And guess what? I didn't say one word. I didn't say one word. And then I just blocked him because I said, you know what? This dude is playing mind games with me and I'm not I'm not playing these games. You know how you win the game? By not playing the game, okay? Now I know I'm not dealing with a straight, transparent, you know, serious-minded person. Straight, serious-minded, transparent, truthful people don't play these games, okay? So when you see people doing these kind of things, you have to step back for a bit, for, step back from it and say, "Not today, Satan." You know you're you're playing games with the wrong one. Block, okay? Because if you can't sit there and resolve conflict with somebody, then that's not somebody that you can be in a relationship with. In other words, if you have an, a disagreement with somebody, they should be able to sit down and and hash it out and talk it out, and try to resolve conflict. They've got to be able to humble themselves, be able to take their accountability, as well as you being able to take accountability. You yourself have to be able to take accountability as well. It can't just be the narcissist or the other person. So you have to self-reflect and take your own accountability, but you have to be somebody who can sit down and communicate and talk about things, all right? When you're dealing with somebody who blocks you, then unblocks you, most times you're dealing with a covert narcissist who does not know, does not want to communicate directly. They're being passive aggressive, playing mind games with you, okay? So, and the main reason that they do that is because they have other supply. And people say, well, how do you know they have other supply? I'll tell you how you know they have other supply. Because when you know a narcissist, you know that a narcissist can't be alone. Okay, trust me when I tell you, I lived a lot of life. I've been around a lot of narcissistic people and I've seen the same patterns of behavior with these people. I watch people's patterns of behavior. That's how I know what they are. I look into their past history because the greatest indicator of prior behavior, I mean, of future behavior rather, is prior behavior. So they're two, four, you guys, all right? They're two, four. What's gonna happen is a narcissist can't be alone. So if they're not talking to you, if they're not seeing you, you can trust and believe they are talking and seeing somebody else. So when a narcissist goes to the extent of blocking you, all right, They're not sitting there on their couch alone crying. 
That's not happening. That narcissist is busy getting it busy with other person or other people. That now they really don't need you. They have no regard for you. You are low on the totem pole. You are low grade supply when they block you. All right. And a lot of times it's not a permanent block. Okay, because it, with a narcissist, it's about mind games, a plain game. All right, they're not serious minded people. So very rarely do they block you and never deal with you ever the fuck again. Sometimes they could come back years later and I've had it happen, okay? This is why I could speak about narcissism because I've experienced it, okay? I didn't read about it. I didn't go and listen to lectures about it. I experienced it and I saw it and I'm telling you straight up why they block and unblock you. Because 99% of the time they're busy with someone else and then they unblock you and they make like nothing ever happened or they flip it on you and say something like, oh, you know, you just upset me because you're an angry person. I didn't feel like I could talk to you because of how you get. They're going to make excuses why they blocked you, okay? If, if, if Most of the time they're not even going to bring it up. They're going to just come back like nothing ever happened. But if you ask them about it, if you even give them the chance, which you shouldn't, all right, because they blocked you, they should be RIP. But, you know, they're going to say, they're going to put it on you and say, well, you know, you, I, 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 I was trying to communicate with you, but you weren't listening to me or something like that. Or, you know, or the other excuse they may say why they blocked you is, I just needed time. I just needed time. Okay, this is the biggest bullshit. You guys, come on now. Don't be, don't be a sucker, all right? Don't be a sucker with that, I just needed time. Well, if you needed time, then you should have just said, I want to I wanna break up, okay? Then you could have all the time you want in the world. But no, it wasn't about you needed time. What you needed to do was block me so you could see your other supply and then unblock me because you think you're going to come back and you're waiting for me to hit you up because you think I'm thirsty for you. Not today, Satan. It's not happening because I see through your mind games. All right? So, you guys, I'm telling you from experience, do not deal with anybody who plays these games of blocking, unblocking, blocking, unblocking, blocking, unblocking. You're dealing with somebody juggling supply, period, dot, end of story. I'm telling you because I'm an OG and I've been through this shit, all right? So I'm trying to, you know, wake you up and let you know the real reason why they do this, okay? the re This is the real reason, all right? You, you go listen and, and, you know, other people say, you know, oh, you know, you're not a psych psychiatrist. Uh, you're not. A, first of all, psychiatrists manage meds. Just FYI, the the the. Okay, because I did. I've dealt with psychiatrists for my son with med management. So you know, when you're dealing with a, a clinic, a clinical um, psychologist, rather, they're not going to know these kind of things because they haven't, unless they've been in the game. If they've been in the game, they may know. But I'm just saying. You know, that's the difference from somebody who's experienced it and somebody who just, you know, reads it out of book and say, well, narcissists block and narcissists unblock because it's a control thing and blah, 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 blah. And like I said, it part of it is control, okay? Part of it is control to make you thirsty for them and to have the control that you can't communicate with them or anything like that. But the main reason, you guys, is because they are see they need to get out to that other supply and they need you out of the way. Period dot end of story. Okay. And most psychologists are not gonna tell you that because they haven't lived that. All right. So, you guys, and when it comes, the other reason too, if it's not a situation where there's other supply, but believe me when I tell you, the narcissist, if they're blocking you, they are not alone sitting there by themselves or sitting in bed crying over you. They are dealing with somebody else, okay? Because when you know a narcissist, like I know the narcissist, they cannot be alone because then they have to self-reflect and, and then all that shame, they think about all that. They can't do it, you guys. They got to constantly keep their mind going. That's why they're constantly going, 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 all right? So the bottom line is that's the real reason why they block and unblock you. They're juggling other supply, 
and they want you out of the way. This way they don't have to come up with excuses why they're with the other supply, why they didn't pick up the phone. They don't have to tell the other supply something when you're calling. What easier way? Block, have a fight with you, block you. I'll come back to you later and unblock you and make like nothing happened, okay? You guys, it's straight up, straight up game. And people that have been in the game know it, okay? So that's the reason they block and unblock you, all right? I hope that helps you. Or, you know, the other reason too, I, I got to put this last one, is because they are, are punishing you. It could also be because they're punishing you and they, they want to make you steam by not being able to communicate with them. That is another reason. That is another reason why they do it, okay? But again, if they're willing to block you, it's because they have somebody else to fill that void while you're not around. You could trust and believe there's somebody else around if they are going to that extent of blocking you and they need you out of the way so they don't have to come up with all these excuses when you're calling or when the other supply is calling, all right? It's just straight up game to be able to juggle supply and then unblock you and come back. This is a person who really doesn't care about you. Period, dot, end of story. Somebody blocks, unblocks, blocks, unblocks. This person does not care about you. They are using you. They are breadcrumbing you. They're using you for something. And people say, well, what are they using me for? You know, I'm not giving them money or something. Well, maybe you're giving them attention, all right? They like the fact that you're there. They like to talk to you when they're bored at their job and it helps eat up the clock, okay? So they're using you for some kind of supply, but the bottom line is, Anybody who does that, they truly don't care about you, all right? And you've got to recognize it. And it's mad disrespect. So we don't, we value ourselves and we don't get disrespected. So when somebody does that, to that extent, that is somebody that you block and you walk away from because that is one-tenth, one-tenth of the bullshit that will come down the road if you keep that person around, Okay, trust me when I tell you, I've been through this. You guys, I've been through this. This is why I'm telling you, you'll only waste your time with somebody like that. All right, when somebody's serious, they don't play these kind of games. All right, so I hope that helps you. If it does, hit the subscribe button, share. Go follow me on YouTube. I have over 4,000 videos where I give you the real deal on narcissism that I've experienced all throughout my life, all right? Go to the Game Exposed podcast where I talk a lot about the covert narcissist, a lot about the discard, a lot about, you know, you know, um, triangulation and all of that, all right? Go to the Game Exposed podcast on uh, YouTube. And if you want to follow me on Instagram for more posts, it's the Game EXP 123. I hope that helps you. And have a great day, you guys. If you guys are having a problem in your dating or relationship or you're dealing with somebody maybe that's narcissistic, you don't know if they're a narcissist or you're just having problems, you're in a toxic relationship and you need some clarity on it. Go to the link in the podcast description for my website where I offer email and phone coaching. If you have a quick question, just a quick question, and you want to get a video sent back to you answering your question, there's also a link there for Visio where I will send you a personalized video answering your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that the Game Exposed now has their merchandise available. 
Check out the link in the bio and you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at the game exp 123 and also on Instagram the game exp 123 okay and have a great day mm-hmm.